Hey, hey guys, welcome back. It is Stephanie from The Crazy Canvas. Um, so today I will be attempting to do my first ever Shelly Art swipe. Um, you will always hear me give credit to the people who I watch and who I try to learn from. Um, I by no means am at their level and I am still learning. That is why I am taking you guys on this journey with me because I know that several of you are probably in the same place that I am and just trying to start to learn how to do some of these processes. So I just figured why not record my journey and share it with other people who are probably on the same journey as me. So I am going to attempt to do this swipe today. I have seen her do these ocean themed swipes. And for those of you who don't know me, I am a dive master and diving is my passion. It is something that I love. The ocean is something that I love. Um, in a couple months, I'm actually getting a sea turtle tattooed on me. So the first time I saw her do one of these swipes, I was like, this is something I have to, I have to try. Um, and the first time that I ever attempt something tends to be the best attempt that I ever have at it. So I figured if I'm going to do this, why not record it and share it with you guys? So whether it's a, a success or a failure, you guys are going to go on this journey with me. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, I will go ahead and tell you guys, I am going to have to put in the comments of the video all of the colors that I use today and I will list them below in the video description in the order that I use them because as I said I am still way too new at this to have all of these colors memorized like these other amazing artists do so I have nine colors next to me today whether I should be using all of these or not I don't know um, but I have nine colors and two swipe um, cell activators, and I couldn't even begin to tell you the names, so I'm not even going to try. Um, but like I said, they will be in the comments below. So the first thing I'm going to do is put down my puddle paint, which I actually forgot to um, make some some more. So I'm hoping that I have enough here. Um, when I say make some more, I do just use a house paint. Um, a regular house paint, but I do thin it out a little bit depending on which one I'm using. Sometimes they're a little thick. Um, so this was one that I had already thinned before and had on my table. Um, I might actually have to get a little more out, but we'll see. I wanted to do this on a bigger board because I am really, I have high hopes that it's going to turn out to be something that I love and I would rather have it be larger than wish I would have gone bigger. So I have a little more of my puddle paint that is not watered down. I am just going to add a little more to it because I know the puddle is very important. So this one is not thinned at all. It's just the paint directly in a bottle to make it easier for pouring. So there we go. I do know that right now I am currently using the Valspar 2000 as my puddle paint, so that is what that is. Let's get these bubbles out. And I'm going to move this around just a little bit. And then we're going to start putting colors down. When I start putting these down, I am kind of just going to roll with it and get going. And like I said, I will let you guys know in the comments what colors these are. And I may be doing too much, but it's okay. So this is my first blue. I do know that this is a primary elements pigment. I'm pretty sure this is a Grumbacher Thalo blue mixed with another color, maybe Payne's gray, but I'm not sure. So again, we'll be in the comments. This is another primary elements pigment. Pretty sure it's like beachside 
Cottage or something is the name of it. And this is an Arteza. I am going to, you know, I'll just go ahead and lay this down. I'm going to go ahead and put it down. Now, I've seen Shelly do this, so I'm going to do it. It's just a pearl paint that I mixed, and I see her just drizzle it. Um, so I'm not really sure um, how it affects the painting, but um, I love her results, so we're going to do that. And then I have this green seafoam color. I'm not even sure what this is, but it was a really pretty color and I just wanted to use it. And I can already tell you, I can tell I haven't gone down far enough into the board. So I'm going to take this green down a little further. And that last color that I put down, I'm going to drizzle some of that into this. I guess this leaves me room to do I didn't know if I'd really have room to do like any beachy colors, sand colors down here at the bottom, but I guess I will. So I'll put this down. This is actually an Arteza. I know it's called Bewitched Autumn Red because I was like, oh, it does have a little bit of a red hue to it, but I thought it was really pretty for like a sand color. Okay. So I do kind of have couple spots that aren't filled in, but that's okay. So we are going to swipe and we're just going to go for it guys. So I can tell my board's a little not level because everything is moving to the right, which I don't like. I am going to put one of my little sticks under here just to lift that up a little bit. Okay, so I do have a dark blue cell activator. It is mixed with Australian Floetrol and it is Grumbacher Thalo Blue and a little bit of Payne's Gray. I think it's like a Dollar Brownie or whatever that brand is. Um, so um, I never really see Shelly do this completely on camera, but I do know that she uses two colors, so I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put my blue on here, which is my dark, and then I'm going to add some white to it. I don't really know how she adds the white, so I just kind of poured it over the top. So I'll show you guys. So I'm just going to move this around a little bit, spread it out. We're going to swipe guys. And the paint is still moving, so we got to get going, but here we go. So there's the first swipe. And let's get this on here so we can get this second swipe done before I lose too much up there at the top. Just trying to move this blue around again. Okay, we have our white on. So here we go, guys. Guys and gals. One, two, three. Okay, we're gonna try to do three swipes here. Okay. Okay, 
Okay, that is it guys. I'm gonna kind of hope that some more cells show up. And I know we'll need to do some tilting. I'm gonna give it just a second and see what happens. this off of this side and then get this off on that side okay so I'm happy with that so I'm gonna go ahead and spin now and we're gonna see what happens so we're just gonna move slow for a second get it going I really love these colors this color up here in the top that primary elements pigment that I used it is really pretty I'm afraid I'm going to lose a lot of it actually at the top, but it's okay. I am. So if you guys can see in the camera, we're going to lose a lot of those really pretty cells that we had at the top. But it's okay. It's our first time, right? I'm trying to figure out. Okay, we're going to give it a fast spin. <gasps> Epic fail, epic fail, epic fail. That popsicle stick. Let me get it, guys. Sorry. Again, you guys are on this journey with me. So, I don't know if I'm going to be able to salvage this. That makes my heart sad. Let me see if I can tilt and get some of this that got messed up by my paper towel. Okay, we're just going to do some spinning and see if we can get some of this over here off. I never, I never balance my canvases with anything under them because of that fear. And then look, it happened. I mean, honestly though, it's not that bad. It's ran off and you can't really even tell. So again, guys, you guys are seeing it happen in real time. Mistakes happen, things happen. It is not perfect. I am loving these colors. Let me check the edges because I did grab it whenever I got scared there. So we're gonna see what the edges look like. No, they look good. They actually look amazing. This down here, this bottom edge down here is just absolutely gorgeous. <sighs> okay guys, I'm happy, I'm happy. So that is it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this with me. I hope you guys Got a laugh out of my flying saucer and um, I will get this video uploaded and I will have all the colors in the description and I hope you guys enjoy it. Thanks guys.